I haven't mentioned this gentleman for a while, but I do need to discuss him tonight. We have an associate producer. You may know him. He's on our show, and his name is Jordan Schlansky. Yeah, we'll insert some booing there. Anyway, uh, for as long as I can remember, Jordan's office has been an embarrassing mess. Well, earlier this year, just before our studio was shut down by the COVID-19 pandemic, I mean, literally like two weeks before, I called in some big names to tackle a renovation of Jordan's office, okay? We were gonna make this a great remote. We brought a camera crew. We even screened what we shot for an audience back in March, literally one of the last audiences we had before COVID shut us down. Then the lockdown hit and we had to delay completing Jordan's office renovation until now. As you know, uh, I work with a guy named Jordan Slansky who is a terrible slob, just a pig. His office is a mess. I've tried many times to clean it up and it's dirty again immediately. I'm sick of it, I give up. That's why I brought in the big guns the Property Brothers. Well, we're glad to be here. I mean, this really shows as his employer how much you, you care about him. Oh, no. I, uh, I'm happy if he dies tomorrow. Hello. Hi. Have you met the uh, Property uh, no, no. Brothers? No, I've not. Usually I stand when uh, people come into the room and I greet them. I think that's more polite. Would you like to stand? I'm comfortable the way I am. <laughs> We've offered to do this for free to help you, um, and this is taking up a fair bit of our time because, <laughs> I mean, look at the space. This is a, a lot to tackle. I mean, we're, we're here to actually add some features that really make this the pimped out space that you would like to have. I don't want to put anything in here. I didn't initiate this whole practice at all. Well, let's put this politely. I'm not asking you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. We're going to clean up this space okay. because you represent Conan, mm -hmm. and I am known for class. I am known for uh, aesthetics. I'm known for uh, a high level of design. Look, you gentlemen clearly have an agenda. I'm going to remain passive in this situation. Uh, why don't you proceed to do what uh, you intend? We're giving, oh you, we're giving you an office upgrade. Is that what you say before you're molested? I mean, <laughs> for God's sake, you'd last long in prison. Well, you gentlemen have an agenda. I will remain passive, and you do as you please. What, what's a couple things about yourself that would help us understand what's important? What to are you? your interests? I'm a deep thinker. I explore <laughs> inward as well as outward. Let me help you. You love Italy, do you not? I do. I, I got married in Italy, so I mean, I know Italy very well. When you say you got married in Italy, therefore you know Italy very well. Are those two things necessarily connected? You're weird. Um, I, I do my research. You. What about something very cool like I don't know, like a pasta station. Yes, a food area where they would be making you fresh pasta in your office. Would you like that? The problem with eating carbohydrates on their own without protein, fat, and fiber to balance them out is that it creates a spike in blood sugar. Then the pancreas secretes insulin to remove the sugar from the blood. That sugar is stored as fat. The body is a very efficient mechanism and you don't want to waste that energy. So you don't like Italy? Personal grooming is very important to you. You like to shave yeah. the body, shave sure, the face? Sure, I, I, I respect the human body that we've all been given, and I like to present it in its best possible condition. Well, you know what? Uh, we share some traits. Body. I take care, yes. I mean, I have, I have no hair. Let me see, you actually shave your no, body. No, I lasered it. I lasered it. I believe in just having regular do Have you hair. removed the hair from your chest? Uh, I lasered twice. Yeah, it doesn't seem consistent with the, the hair on your legs. No. And in fact, all... Three of us have modified our body hair. In this scenario, you're the odd man out. I believe in letting it grow. Uh, it looks like a, a, a copper Brillo pad uh, beneath my belt, and that's my way of going because I've been in a very, very long marriage, and, um, well, I think enough said. Why do you have... O-M-G. Why do you have this here? This is a toilet stool. It ensures proper orientation of the puborectalis muscle, which is the muscle that maintains continence. So this is like a squatty potty knockoff. No, this is a uh, squatty potty. This is of their course, luxurious it's... model. It's made of bamboo as opposed to a lower quality plastic. Why is it still in the box? Uh, I haven't unpacked and assembled it yet. I have a feeling he uses it and then puts it back in the box. It's the only thing that's organized in this office. Hold on a second. Why do you have two of them? <laughs> Why do you have two? Hey, have you go up to people in the subway and say, how about a little side-by-side -side pooping? What about a toilet? Could we put a toilet 
in this space so that he, he could? He might literally never leave. Would you be willing to uh, evacuate your bowels in here if there was a toilet? Uh, I don't do that in the workplace. How do you, you, you save it up for all day? Like, do you save it up for 10 hours? Uh, my body's on a natural rhythm. I've uh, taken great steps to ensure the uh, natural digestive rhythm of my body. I no, take a wait, probiotic wait, 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 supplement. Are you, being, are you being serious? You don't uh, defecate at work? You can't control your bodily functions. <laughs> what? You can't what? Oh, to the, to the, he loses it. It's crazy. No, it's not. When he, the way he laughs, his eyebrows get so crazy. <laughs> So no, saying, I don't need to come to the work. That's not evacuate healthy. When my you have bowels. to go, you have to go. Wait, so you, I don't have to go. So you have never pooped at work? No. That's insane. That's crazy. I, How do you plan that out? My body follows a natural rhythm. It's almost circadian. I'm surprised that you are caught unaware so often. <laughs> do you defecate at work? Jordan, all people, uh, eventually, first of all, I'm a celebrity, and as they will tell you, we d just don't defecate at all. No, no. no. <laughs> But you, as a person, everyone does. How many times a week would you say you defecate at work? Well, I think you're talking about a very, this is a disgusting topic. Well, I didn't initiate the topic. You're the one that introduced the topic by having not one, but two bamboo squatty potty. So before the show is when you'll normally evacuate your bowels if you need to. I've done it during the show. Uh, back, that's what, the way we had a desk. And one of the investors in the film came to Council Bluffs, Iowa, to help us make the movie, uh, which consisted of him in a, a Brooks Brothers suit in a cornfield. Would you evacuate your bowels here in the privacy of your own room if we had sort of like a prison toilet here? I wouldn't evacuate my bowels in this workplace whether there was or was not a toilet in this office. I will not eat green eggs and ham. <laughs> I will not defecate, Sam I am. Decorative elements, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, I mean, if you want this to really embrace your passion for Italy, maybe like a like a marble statue or something like that. That'd be fantastic. Uh, no, I don't see the value in that. Well, Sorry. then that would be a yes. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. And that that is the size. Conan Conan came in early and measured it up. Actually, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty nice, eh? Jordan, congratulations. And now do the thing other humans do, which is thank uh, Jonathan and Drew for their help. Thank you. Pleasure. You're thank welcome. you. Look forward to seeing your face when we're all done. OK. Normally, this is where we'd show you our 3D computer animation and talk about how the renovation would proceed. Yeah, but our big plans for Jordan's office, that went out the window when the pandemic hit. In fact, since Conan's Warner Brothers studio closed down and was abandoned by humans over five months ago, Jordan's office was turned into a breeding ground for rats, raccoons, and the nine banded armadillo. As a result, Jordan's office has been condemned by the city of Burbank, which forced us to rethink our renovations. First, we're gonna return Jordan to his office, then reimagine the entryway by sealing it up with beautiful reclaimed bricks imported from Tuscany, giving Jordan's final resting place the Italian style and look he craves. So Jordan will be sealed off from all human contact and run out of oxygen pretty quickly, is that right? Mm, two hours, tops. Fantastic. Oh my God. This is exactly what I dreamed it would be. I'm not sure about Jordan, but Conan seems pretty happy about the outcome. He does. Oh, actually, Conan, something we're extremely happy about, it's the Brother vs. Brother premiere on HGTV. Very smooth segue. I try. Thanks, Conan.